Hi, my name is Ed Donovan. I'm here at DC Glassworks. You can find us at dcglassworks.com. We are a public access glass blowing facility. We also do metal and metal casting and welding. We are primarily a teaching facility. We want to share with people the magic of glass blowing. It's an amazing substance. And today, I'm going to be talking to you about glass blowing. There's a lot of techniques for shaping glass. Uh, the first one you're going to use when you gather your initial gather is the marver. Uh, it's essentially a steel table, pretty thick steel, so that it doesn't get overly hot too fast and uh, change in its shape. So it's usually at least a half inch to three quarter inch steel uh, plate that's uh, been ground and polished. Uh, it's used in a very simple manner. You're going to lower your right hand and turn quickly over the surface of the steel. And as you lift your hands up to level, you're pushing the glass off the end of the pipe, creating a nice cylinder on the end of the pipe. Uh, that's the most basic use of the marver and shaping the glass. Other techniques for shaping glass are the newspaper, uh, which is just a, uh, essentially a piece of newspaper that you get in any news box. You fold it a certain way uh, and then get it wet. And as long as it stays wet, uh, you can use that to shape the glass. Essentially, the glass is riding on the steam that's created by the wet newspaper. Um, also, the jacks, very, very important tool. The, very, the most basic tool for glass blowing that you have. Every bench has to have one. And then the blocks, which are uh, usually a fruit wood, and they are always kept wet. They're also used a similar manner as the newspaper. The steam that's created by the water in the block allows the glass to slide. Uh, you always want to keep the newspaper and the blocks wet so that the steam is constantly generated. If the newspaper or the block become too dry, they just start to burn, and that burning ember from the wood or the newspaper will stick to your glass, and it will mar the glass. It will actually create a cloud on your glass that's uh, impossible to get away. So you always want to make sure that you're wetting your blocks and your newspapers. Um, and those are the uh, essential shaping tools for glass.